A lot of hits in IHOP. Yeah. This is lined on a hop to second. Trey Richardson flips to Anthony Silva for two. That'll do for Cam Brown. And we got zeros on both sides out of the gates to this. 2 1. And on the hands, and Byrne pulls it down the line and left. And that is fair into the corner. Fontenelle gets a stop sign at third, and it's a double for Curtis Byrne. And TCU's got two in scoring position in the second. That's a nice piece of hitting right here. That, that ball is running hard in on the hands of Curtis Byrne. So watch the arms in the chest. That's how you gator arm a ball right there. He wasn't sure if that ball was going to stay straight, but man, it held its line, and it is certainly a fair ball. And, and I think everybody maybe was hesitating just to touch whether that ball was going to land fair or not. Does he have confidence in that splitter? We're going to find out. Ball. It's a fastball, and he misses. Davis fired up, and TCU leads in the second. He's had a couple wobbly ones here in the NCAA tournament. On the ground towards second, up the middle, and Blaze Brothers who flips to end the inning. The defense helps out and prevents that crooked number. There's a reason they're number one in the country in fielding percentage. It's a slick field, and Blaze Brothers gets his crew out of a jam. Fans to their feet in the third. 3-2. Oh, wow. Back tour, got it. That's big time there. Cam Brown, 3-1 count, fastball, 3-2. Now, how about a little backdoor breaking ball? How about this one here, folks? No chance you're standing in the batter's box. Just works it right over the outside part of the plate. Can't do it any better than that. Maxwell walked his first time, and he pulls this one down the line, and it's a fair ball into the corner. Curtis Byrne races to third and stops there after a double from Logan Maxwell. Well, Matt Hogan did a wonderful job to get to this ball out in right field and quickly get it in, but the throw, instead of it going where it probably should have went to the cutoff guy, it goes straight into second base. Just a fastball riding up in the zone. And Maxwell just gets a barrel on it. Watch the hands go first. Hands and then the barrel right behind it. Rifles it down the right field line. Watch Matt Hogan quickly to the ball. And you can see the cutoff guys in the top of the screen. They're lining up for a play at home. But the ball goes to second. Nobody there at second base. And now we've got a balk called. Wow. Wow. On Josh Carvalho. Home plate umpire Angel Campos spotted it right away. 2 0 TCU. Turn back around, but we, we haven't seen a lot of change in what's happening. And now Davis tags this one toward the gap, and Justin Quinn runs it down. As a skipper that I've ever been in terms of what. There he goes. Nunez goes, the throw from Kyle. And oh. Nunez got back as well. Swipes third. Now what's a one? Fontenelle flares it behind short in the center, and it drops down. Nunez scores, and now TCU leads 3-0. Burn on a line to right, and Hogan backs up to make the catch. Taylor tags and scores, and it's a sack fly to make it 4-0. This is pulled past the dive of Holden Breeze. Fontenelle scores, and Richardson's on his heels. Six set, Frogs. Hey, go, Ben. You get your stolen bases, right? The Frogs, a couple bags this inning. How about out in front of a slider, a little backdoor slider. Watch him extend the barrel there. The right hand releases, and that right hand releasing allows him to stay through that ball just long enough instead of a ground ball to third base. It's a line drive in the six hole. Trey Richardson, who just stole second, comes around to score. 2-1. Cox lines it past Richardson in the right field. Godman gets waved. Davis's throw does not get him. Oral Roberts is on the board. At first, the one-two. Cut on and missed. As 
Hunt's advertised with that 12-6 breaking ball. Hunter Hodges leads two. That's how you come in and put the fire out, folks. How about that? Four pitches and a big punch out to get TCU off the field with a 6-1 to one lead as we go to the top of the sixth inning. I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a heck of a program playing J.C. ball. Cox rolls it left side, and Taylor goes all the way to cut it off. What an arm! Oh, man! You said he could play short. <laughs> well, we told you Braden Taylor had a little bit of range. Go get it to your left. It's the shortstop's best friend right here. Take it away from him and then rip it across the diamond to get the speedy Jonah Cox. Braden Taylor, do it for us, young man. And they got robbed in foul ground by Oral Roberts first baseman Jake McMurray his last time in the city. Oh. How do you do, Holden Breeze? And out. Two guys. I'm home now. There's one of your top defenses showing up in a big way. Berkey, this ball comes up on him, doesn't it? How about the top spin? Watch this. Up and boy, somehow he, I mean, he's going to lay out and die for this ball. It comes up and somehow. This is some good hands here. Wow, what a play. Here a couple of days later. 3-2. Strike three count. TCU is still alive. See you got it done and it started with Cam Brown, their starting pitcher. He goes three plus.